Heidi Ho, Gearheads. This is Lug Nuts, recorded 25 September 2022. Hyundai's and Kia's are getting stolen a lot. Electric G. VW Pod. And, believe it or not, an all new Lancia. There's going to be three, actually. Or four. Stay tuned. Play on my tango. Drive on Lug Nuts. Right on over here to Facebook.com backslash Lug Nuts Podcast. We're going to find all of our fine, polished products right there on our main site where we go over all the latest in automotive news and car reviews like this first story <sighs> iihs study turns out that uh, finds that hyundai's and kia's are getting stolen a lot what? I, this. I post it every now and again that one uh so, involving models 2015 to 2019, they're getting stolen twice as much as other cars because of things the manufacturer did. Where did they touch you? They touched them in the immobilizer. Oh, they removed no! it. The immobilizer is what keeps your car from being stolen unless you drive a Hyundai or a Kia. Yeah, yeah. Then Ninety-six percent of their cars had it in 2015. Twenty-six percent of their cars have an immobilizer today. Only the premium package gets an immobilizer. Okay, I would buy something else for the same amount. I don't know. I mean, only the top twenty-six percent you deem like, eh, whatever. Like, uh, every, everything else is just, you're going to buy another one. It's yeah. that cheap. You got to watch out when you're buying a used Hyundai or Kia. Yeah. For quite some time, that's, I would imagine. That's, that seems off. But, you know, the future may hold other things, just like this next story. It turns out Jeep is planning many, many things for an electric future. Jeep oh. plans to roll out solar paneled electric vehicle charging stations, uh, charging points across popular off-roading trails, which okay. I think is great. They're encouraging like a uh, electric off-roading scene. Well, especially when you look at this one above my head You're, with uh, the, the Jeep solar panel charging station that's arizona that you have a plethora of energy right there the one jeep goes five like some ridiculous amount like five miles yeah, on electric power just, alone that's it you're you gonna just, need a lot of them you just stack them up right along the lines you're they're just, preparing for the future it's infrastructure yeah you're right. just setting up a nice scenic tour along this line of the grand canyon right there you know the, well, sure, or wherever the popular <laughs> trails are. I don't don't yeah. know if they're going to let you drive right in there. No, no, probably not. Check local zoning before driving. <laughs> they log not said I could go here. Yeah, there's there's park <laughs> rangers and they're there for a reason. They're actual government officials, folks. <laughs> the charging stations, <laughs> remember them? The charging yeah. stations mm -hmm. get uh, Jeep. And honor badges for off-roading trail promotedness to promote electric vehicles and the 4XE. Apparently, you need badges. Yes. Well, Rivan is also uh, seeking the adventure crowd. Mm. They have the R1T EV truck, the R1S EV, and what they're calling... The Adventure Network. It's probably only in California. I got a button for that. Hang on. Uh, which one is it? That's right. The Adventure Network coming for you. Or 
waiting for you to adventure? That sounds better. That one's better. Is it? No, I don't think it's better. I don't know. Like, where are... Have you ever seen a Rivan in the wild? I haven't seen a Rivan ever. We're, we're a bit off the beaten path for that. Right. But right. We, I see Teslas all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Even other electric cars. You More see prominent. them all the time. You see those uh, Priuses are yep. like a, a plague on society sometimes, but... They're there. The locusts that they are, yeah. <sighs> back, to the, back to the pain and hurt level. <laughs> Just like this next story could with an all-new G-Wagon. Mm-hmm. They're making it electric coming in 2024. Mercedes is going all electric by 2030, and that is all the information they've given us. Boogie, woogie, woogie. This is it. There might be some photos below. Let's see. Not the video. Nope. No nope. photos. No photos. This is it. I mean, I like it. it it's it's the G class, and so you know what it looks like. It's it's boxy. That's all you got to know. It's boxy. It has. It's tires. supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look as like as boxy as you could a car. Yeah. And they did that. They, they left a cardboard box. Outside in the rain. What type a of little uh, bit. what type of mileage would you expect from it? From Mercedes, I'd expect like eighteen four hundred miles. Oh, range. I was saying eighteen per gallon, but uh, no, it's range. electric. Oh, range uh, three. I'm, I'm three hundred should have like. I'm thinking it's Mercedes. You should have at least four fifty. Uh, it's what I'm. I'm it's going to take forever to charge. So I'm going to say just, forever to charge it in three fifty. Yeah, I, 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 I'm a more realistic view on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Three fifty, I think, is the range for everybody right now. You're shooting for around there, and yeah. uh, if you can get the four hundred, I think that's a good point, especially for a Mercedes. If you can get to four hundred, and the biggest thing though is the charge time. Yeah, the charge time matters about everything because that matters. When you're driving the car on a long mm-hmm. range to where you're going past that 350, that's yeah. really where it matters. Your normal day to day is not going to be affected by yeah, that not a lot. 350, but that whole long distance. You know, in adventure. the future, when they get the hydrogen network set up, when hydrogen cars will they'll be sprinkled in more and more. When oh yeah, we're going to hear more about when it. gas stations appear. Uh, <laughs> Although there was a uh, compressed natural gas uh, station. Yeah. It never... It didn't hit. Never really grabbed hold and no That's one... That's because really... none of the manufacturers really f- supported it. Besides, I yeah. think, like, maybe Chevy. That is, yeah, they do it was either Chevy or uh, things. It was either Chevy or G- uh, GMC. You know, they, they did have the ones. Bolt. The Bolt has been around forever. And it didn't have any problems till recently. When so, it spontaneously just... But they had a little car fire problem, fire. and now it's a really cheap car. But you got to keep your mouth shut. And don't sleep in your car. Yeah, and keep your mouth shut. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Remember that. I'll sleep in my car. What do you drive? A Chevy Bolt. Never mind. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> maybe check out this next story. I see a stat... Yeah, that's, that's Tesla. It's going to show up on one of your new screens. Mm. Tesla's updating language on their vehicles. Uh, the controls, you can now access languages. Okay. I guess that's important. Uh, notify you via mobile phone if your car door or trunk or window is left open. That's neat. In Siamese, Cantonese, and Taiwanese. My car tells me if it's open. It's useful. That is one of the most useful features of my car. Yeah, but if it's a Taiwanese message and you speak English, that's not so helpful. You set it. You set it up ahead of time. There you go. Like when you when you start the car. Hey, what language you want? Singapore. That's fine. Jersey's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Philly. Philly. <laughs> you get like deep yeah, you get one that's like deep Jersey and the one that's deep Philly, deep South Philly. So like <laughs> deep South Philly accent. But you're like Turn now, fucker. What? Oh 
I almost missed it. Thank you, GPS. <laughs> I think we need that. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to Tesla. <laughs> Remember them? They have a supercharged <laughs> icon on the vehicle's navigation system that reels a pop-up display, mm-hmm. as seen here. It uh, gives you energy location and uh, graph data. Okay. About your whatever. Your car. Looks nice, I guess. It's going down. It's probably going Sure. Zero percent consumption. That's nice, right? Sure. Sounds great. Efficient. What's, what's Volkswagen got in their sci-fi bag? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Oh, we all can't wait for the Volkswagen future. <laughs> it looks bizarre, but I kind of like the vision that they're going with here. Yeah. Uh, general travel design uh, study, e- electric vehicles hopes that it could replace short flights. It's a four-person travel pod. Can you imagine replacing one of those windshields? They plan, ooh, yeah, that'd be expensive. Oh, my but, fucking uh, God. Level five autonomous driving is what they're going for on this one with modular customization for the interior, uh, dynamic lighting for natural sleep cycles, reduced motion sickness stuff as well. As well as something to def- go around oh, or wait, deflect there's those more rocks coming at those windshields, man. Entertainment is augmented reality. If you just use, like, aircraft grade, you'll be fine. Yeah, but, all right, augmented reality. Tell it's me German. More. You'll be fine. Go below. Let's take a look at what they have. This is a good view. It shows the woman inside or whoever's oh, yeah. in there. There you go. Ooh. This is what it'll look like on the inside. They'll have augmented realities for the... Uh, Windows, so you can see, and it'll tell you facts. I see this as a future taxi. That'd be cool, because you'd, you'd be, be like, driving down the countryside of a new country, and then it'd be like a castle in the background, and be like, bloop, Dracula say, killed 500,000 people here. Yeah, let's say you just wanted to take a, a trip to, say, Ohio. And you get this, and you just... Dracula wouldn't be there. Climb in, and off to Ohio we go. And, and then... You get, get out and you're in Ohio. Well, little facts. There you go. Pop up like the AR screen on the side would be cool, you know, of the, during the trip. The, yeah. You know, like, oh, boom. It, it's like a, so it's all a, automated. Yeah. It all goes itself. So you pay for a, yeah, it'll take you, you know, how long it'll take you. That'd be really cool because you yeah. have that you, you program the AI to have all the historical facts of the places around. You see the, the signs with the augmented reality. You see the bathroom one. You're like, bing, and it pulls in. Yeah, and you have like uh, it's tied to uh, I don't know your phone or like a GPS wrist if it's like a Uber or something or thing or. I love the minority biometrics at some point. Yeah, it won't it's even great. need chips at that point. Oh, no, yeah, we no. know. We see you. We know who you are. It's like pop up videos. We're it, watching, Dave. You know, boop. This castle was owned by Bon Varen. I like the idea of the augmented reality to keep everyone entertained for a long journey. Yeah, that's a nice feature, man. Because, like, you know, you're looking out the window, and like, boop. I think it's important also to be bored in a car. It is. It's a very important part of like. Growing up, sitting there and just being bored in a car. But that's a new kind of being bored is that you're being bored in a car, but you're being bored in a car with nothing but like intellectual facts popping up out your window. Like 75 potatoes are grown here every second. Well, back, in the, like, back in the day before there were cell phones and all that, yeah. like there wasn't really you could read a book. Yeah, or, games. Uh, I spy. Occasionally, yeah, there was that. Uh, <laughs> I spy something blue. Is it that blue truck? No. How did you know? We've been following it for the past 400 miles. Still. It's like he's going where we're going. <laughs> but with this new technology, you may have some other games that you could play. Yeah, but in the near future, you could see a box-like Volkswagen product that looks like this. 
Volkswagen, it's getting very popular. The demand, they're doubling production on their new ID bus. Ooh. They plan to produce 100,000 buses a year, uh, increasing eventually to uh, more. It's not bad looking. It's it's not a bad looking. I like the look of it, you know. I love that green. The green, the that orange. Green and the orange. Both. I like it. Oh, man. Volkswagen knows how to do colors. And yeah. when that, yeah. with that yeah. green and, and orange, that's a solid startup right there. For, yeah, for I might not want the first generation. No, no. Yeah. but second, Especially with the batteries. No, I wouldn't. Second generation, you give me that with that green. I will take that shit. Yeah, yeah. The green, the green. Let's see what other colors you got going there. They I, they don't have the colors. Oh. They don't, they oh, they don't, don't mention no. much, but they do mention they're increasing production. And this one looks like it'll be around for a while. I don't think it's here yet. Well, that's why it's going to be around for a while. You'll see it Because it's not here yet. Uh, let's see what Bugatti has in store. Bugatti. Bugatti W16 Mistral Roadster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the Bugatti W16 Mistral Roadster. Mm. W16 engine, 1600 horsepower, and there's only going to be... 99 of them oh, that have already should have been, been 16. The, no, that have already been sold. Oh. $5 million each. Wow. Yeah, no. Why limit yourself to 16? 1,600? Yes. Just, yeah, no. 99 vehicles, $5 million each is the price tag. I think it's pretty good looking. Oh, that is sexy. Tremendous, and sleek. Tremendous demand from our customers for a whole yeah. new way to experience the mighty performance of our iconic engine. Oh, that back end. That makes it into Matt, one of Matt Man's favorite back ends. Because, it's a nice back my end. My God. Good oh, back oh, end. That is so good. Especially with that wide open canopy right there at the engine. It's a hot car. Oh, yeah. Hot car all over. Yeah. And Ooh, I, I love the interior. I love that. Oh, yeah. Classy two-tone interior. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The yellow and black that they're going with. I mean, very classic. But ultimately, uh, not bad. I mean, sometimes yellow can be a little bit too much in the interior. But with If it this was yellow, all yellow, that would be too much. But well, the black... The black and the carbon the fiber black makes it work. It really does. It mixes everything together and really makes it look look and stand out. I like it. Oh, look at that! That's a, that's a nice looking steering wheel. That's a useful steering wheel. Oh yeah, it's no yoke. No yokes. Of, no yokes yeah. allowed. No yokes here. Uh uh. Oh, just classic styling. Very sexy looking uh, steering wheel. I like those seats. Look like racing seats. Nice racing seats. Almost Batman and Robin-esque. Very, it's, you are in the cockpit of this racing beast. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, speaking of favorite back ends. That's, that's a nice back end. I like those lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's a fantastic back end. Now, that's something you're not going to see on their other cars. Never. Because they, they don't do other cars. This is it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. They've sold them. All 99. <laughs> if but you, if you didn't buy it, you'd But you'd know if it. you're in the right part of the world, you could find one of these. That's right. Lancia. Oh. They're back. Actually, they never went anywhere. They've been here all along producing their uh, other model. 2026 is when we'll expect this one. This is part of three new models in six years. Yipson in 2024. Ugh. Who named this shit? Italians? Yeah. Oh. Alderia? Sure. That's this one. And Delta. Yeah, Alderia is 2026. Delta is 2028. It doesn't look bad. 
This one is Alderia. It will be the flagship. It is 181 oh. inches long. Oh, that's... Hang on a second. I may retract my statement. That's your flagship? Uh, look, let's see if there's a better... Yeah, I think it's the angle. It's, I, I want to... Look, say, look, there's... They've won... We've won awards... <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've oh no, done that's better just a year. Stuff. That's just a year they're coming out. <laughs> we've done better stuff. Look, uh, no, here. What is this one? Look at the look at the caption. Um, 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 uh, uh, their vision of fully electric. Uh, uh, go down further. Let's see if they have a. No, they should have. I'd rather buy a Cadillac. Up. All right, I guess that's the only photo. That's a nice symbol, though. Look at the other photo. This one. This one's not a bad. That's a nice color. It it reminds me like a Cadillac kind of uh, styling. Maybe it's just a color, though. Right. An independent artist envisions it as a less aggressive but more opulent look, infusing design cues from past Lancia models. Okay. Lightly colored upholstery and retro patterns available. S L S A L A sound air light and augmented, which will allow the driver to control the audio system, the ambient lighting, and the climate control. Four hundred and forty mile range with the largest battery pack. Variable horsepower from two hundred and one to four hundred and forty three. Scheduled for twenty twenty six. I know what most people think when they think Lancia, it's going to rust. But I'm sure they've worked that out. That was just oh, one. Oh, it's brand new. I mean, yeah, that was a while just before a, the rust will set in. That was just one model year for a while. Yeah, but this is a brand new model. It's nice you to know. You don't worry about that you, for a long time. It's nice to know Lancia is still around. Lease it. You'll be fine. I mean, they're Stellantis, so it's really just a Persia 408, but with different bodywork. But it's it's nice looking bodywork. Sure, sure. Let's 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 go super, super yacht actually. Lamborghini 63 Super Yacht lands in America. Where else but Miami? I mean. Where else would they need something as such? True. Built by Taka Nor to to Nikamura. We'll go with Tanikamura. Built by Tanikamura, it's now docked in Miami, and there's just one of sixty-three. Okay. Powered by twin main V12 engines with 220 PSI, 24 tons, 63 boats, top speed, 63 knots, carbon fiber. 63 is a big number here. It's because Lamborghini it's was founded in 19. 63. 63. Let's no look at the interior. Not bad. I mean, it's... It looks like uh, the inside of a Lamborghini boat. That's what uh, I would expect. Uh, and, you know, Kit was busy. Let's see what we got. You know, somebody else did a uh, another boat that was based on a classic car. Night boat? Uh, no. Gotham. I will not have you talking bad about the boat. I was going to say Gotham Garage. Oh, right. Then. That's, that's a really nice looking interior. And not bad. It's a nice interior. Let's see what else they got. Wow, they got a lot of photos. Dry dock. This is in dry dock. I, I It's a nice looking... I don't know boats. Is that a good looking shape, I guess? Sure. Why not? Reminds me of the boat on uh, uh, Thunder in Paradise. Yeah. The Hulk Hogan show. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, it's not bad. The I Thunder in Paradise boat had like rocket launches and stuff. I don't know boats. Like, is that a secret? Is that a machine gun? That's I, cool. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it has a machine gun. It looks cool. There's someone at home screaming their head off about boats, and they're like, "You don't know." That's right. We don't. 
It looks like it goes fast. Look, and you know. And you know what? This stuff. one almost looks like he has a tart right there. Yeah. Thunder in Paradise is well in play right here. Lamborghini doesn't do commercials, but I see a commercial with Hulk Hogan. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> or an all-new show coming to whoever will buy it. Ah, oh, Hulu will snatch that shit up. Yeah, who knows? But that has been all for us this week. Thank yeah, you man. for joining us. Hope you join us next week. Where we go over all the latest in car news and automotive luggy and nuttiness. Just like the end of this show. Because it does not matter if you drive an Opal or a Dacia. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on! Hero of time, Lincoln Doodlebutt. Remember Saab? Yeah, what happened to them? They uh, were bought by Chevy and they couldn't... They they got a Chevy and they're like, no. no. So they didn't go back to make Jets? No. Okay. On that bombshell. 9-11. Saab 9-11. There was saw there. Even today. Play on my tanga. Drive on lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on. Drive on lug nuts. You know, if you're having a discussion, sometimes having the story translucent in the background might be cool. Uh, no. Thank you for joining us for meditation time with lug nuts as I wait for Matt to set up the lights. <laughs> or whatever the hell he does over there. Literally, there there would be no show. It'd just be me sitting here <coughs> staring at a wall. Hi, welcome to lug nuts. That guy just keeps staring at the wall. Let him go. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. And, uh, once again, no F1. So until October. Next week. Yeah. Many things happen next week. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> the fall season is upon us. Voting in some places at gunpoint. But here, we're going to talk about other things. It's an efficient product. I will say that. The club is a very, you know, I, very I good posted product. a story not that long ago where they were giving out <clears throat> clubs in a somewhere beat two Hyundai's and Kia's because look, oh, we gotta yeah. stop this from happening. Look, get a club. There you go. Here, it's free. Just take it. I just keep getting fucking robbed. Hold on, yeah. what'd you pull up in? Yeah, here, take one. Like hey, you got a club? Hang on. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, video, video, whatever. <laughs> subscribe right there. Right above my head is the very best project. It's wall hangers video for you. Right above Big Brother's head is every single Lug Nuts podcast in a playlist. And, of course, our main podcast does not end until we hear our main man, Connor, say. Drive on, Lug Nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on. Drive on lug nuts.